Well, we are very happy to welcome Trina Schaefer to our studio kitchen. V, hi, Trina. Hi. Trina is the artist and licensed certified home baker behind Baked with Grace. Trina, thank you for being thank here. Thank you for having me. Just the most beautiful. I say artist because wow, thank these are you. just gorgeous. Thank you. So, how did this all happen? How long have you been baking? Oh, actually, um, it started back in 2020 with my son Daniel. We started baking in the kitchen and it was something that we enjoyed. Mm -hmm. We bonded over it. We uh, made all kind of fun things. Um, fast forward a couple years, I had my daughter Grace, who's two, sass. Um, <laughs> of course. She, um, we just started making more girly things. Mm -hmm. So we started doing florals. Um, I started Mm, floral baking about a year ago. Wow. So it yeah, just came naturally, are. I think. It's yeah, beautiful. Lots of practice. Yeah, so, you know, th now this is a business. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you to do something that makes people so happy? I'm sure. Oh, like, man. I can't stop smiling about oh, these. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's about joy. You mm -hmm. know, if I could pick a word for my business, it'd be joy. We um, enjoy giving back to the community. We enjoy just doing things that make people feel good and um, whether that means donations, uh, discounted items. We've done work with many organizations in Cedar Rapids and Anamosa. Yeah. So, I mean, it just, it means a lot to be able to just yes. do something good and um, inspired by my faith in God to just create. Um, it's easy to marvel at his creation, so. Yes, yeah, and just fun to create stuff. Some more. Wow. Yeah. What What are some of your more popular flavors, or what What do you like to make? Um, my more popular blackberry vanilla mm -hmm. is uh, one of my top tier choices. Um, it's a lot of people love, uh, you know, that flavor. And then I have. Oh, um, my lemon velvet is a good one. That sounds so. I brought you guys blackberry yes, vanilla. Yes, I can't wait to try yeah. one. Mm -hmm. And so if somebody wants to book you for an event, mm -hmm. about how much time sh should they reach out sure. to you? Sure, um, depending on how many they would need. Typically one to two weeks. Okay. Um, we're still smaller. We're looking to you know, grow our business, obviously, so, um, and I'm a one-woman show in the kitchen. You are. And you're, so. yes, it's a woman-owned business. It's, yes. Minority-owned business. Yeah. That's very important to support in yeah. our community. And you have a book coming out. I do. It's an e-book called Blooming Motherhood. It just, um, it talks about my journey through baking um, in the face of postpartum anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, it's a labor of love to moms that it's, it's just about, and it's an encouragement. Yes. Um, you can do it in the face of, you know, while being a mother, balancing home life. You can, you can still go out and chase your dreams and do what Absolutely. you still have to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, and find joy in yeah. creating something. Yeah. So how can people get a hold of you if they um, want to order, find more information? Yeah, um, my I credit all of this to my husband. His business <laughs> is Schaefer Next Gen IT and Marketing. He's got me listed on Google, Yelp, Bing. You can email me, um, WW, or I'm sorry, you can email me at bakedwithgraceia at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. You can... You know, go to my website, www.bakewithgrace-ia. Uh, uh, yeah, there yeah. it is. Yes, that's important. That's a lot of, Remember yeah. the IA, yes. too. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when will the book come out? The book is coming out in September. I'm having a um, pre-order sale um, this month, later this month. So Amazing. I'm excited. So yeah. you, I mean, this would be perfect for a shower, wedding, Absolutely. all of that. All occasions. Oh, Trina, thank you so thank much. You. Can I try one of those? Oh, yes. Okay, well, I'm going to try this, and we will be right back. And I'll tell you what I think. I already know I'm going to love it. <laughs> but yeah, you're watching Everyday Iowa here on TV9.